everybody. Oh, I feel like I've forgotten what I'm doing. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? And I feel like I've started basically the last 10 videos on this channel saying the same thing. Um, it's definitely been a while since I posted, but I've had so many messages recently of people asking if I'm coming back to making YouTube videos, which actually just fills my heart with so much warmth because I never actually feel like, I never think that someone is sat using their valuable time to watch this that I'm <laughs> creating. So honestly, I really do appreciate it. I just thought I would do a quick hello video um, just to give you a few updates on what's been happening in life because life's been busy, honey. Um, and there's been a few changes. First off, I kind of stopped posting because I got a new job and it got really busy and I'm busy sat at a computer all day every day so then the last thing I want to do is then sit on my laptop all evening editing videos um but whoa and then knocked over my tea that would have been a great start to my first youtube video back I just wanted to give you a little update on what's been going on so yeah new job but I really do enjoy doing this so I'm gonna make a really big conscious effort to try and get that balance a bit better. The next big difference, which is probably what this video is mainly gonna be about, um, because I wanted to do a little Q and A, um, and quite a lot of the questions revolve around this subject. That I am no longer a ww ambassador and i am no longer following the ww program so if you do subscribe to this channel purely for ww info on like smart points and all of that good stuff um i'm not going to be posting about that anymore um i will still be doing like what i eat in a day videos and logging my weight loss journey because i am still on a weight loss journey if anything i'm back to the beginning of my weight loss journey then yeah stick around for that kind of content but it won't be ww specific so yeah in summary i have switched over to calorie counting just to give me that little bit more flexibility and i am really enjoying it so far i've tried it for the whole of january um, and I lost um, quite a few pounds. So I'm really happy with that and how that is going. After Christmas, I only weighed three pounds lighter than I did pre-COVID lockdown. So when I first started WW, so I'd basically put on all that weight that I'd lost and I was a little bit like, whoa. Um, I was being a bit half-hearted with the WW plan to be totally honest and something just needed to change. It wasn't really fitting in with my lifestyle at the moment, um, which is just super busy. Um, so yeah, I've got a couple of questions on my phone that people have been asking um, and that I had when I done a little Q&A box on my Instagram. So I just thought I would answer a few of those on here um, just as a quick catch up video. So grab yourself a cuppa. Um, yes, I'm still rocking the Christmas mugs obviously let's keep the christmas mugs going all year round um so yeah grab yourself a cuppa grab yourself some snacks and um let's answer a couple of questions the first question was why did you step down as a ww ambassador i feel like i've kind of already answered that but one of the main things was i felt like a lot of pressure from having that ambassador title because you feel like you constantly have to be on the right downward slope in terms of weight loss um when you're an ambassador and it's not from ww that's not pressure from them to be like that but you just automatically feel like that when you're trying to promote a weight loss business so then the next question was why have you switched to calorie counting which i guess is kind of similar in answer i was a bit half-hearted with ww and sometimes what works what has worked for you in the past may not then be working with you now if your lifestyle has changed, which WW really worked for me in lockdown when all I had to focus on was cooking and going out and doing couch to 5k. That's literally all I could do for like six months <laughs> in peak lockdown. Um, and that's when I lost all my weight. And then since then, it's kind of gradually kept, kept creeping back up because 
I'd be really good at it for like a couple of weeks and then I'd have a bit of a binge and then it's just binge restrict cycle and I'm not about that. Um, so I just need a bit, a little bit more flexibility. If I've had a really busy day at work, I just want to be able to shove something in the oven and not have to worry about it. Um, and that's kind of why I decided to make the switch and I have really been enjoying it so far. So um, I'm feeling like I've made the right choice at the moment anyway but you know WW has taught me so many things and so many healthy habits that it's not totally gone from my mind do you know what I mean and it is you know it's a plan that works if you're really good at sticking to it and if it fits in with your lifestyle and I think actually sometimes you need to recognize if something is no longer working for you and make that change which is what I did how many calories do you eat a day I'm not actually going to answer this question only because it differs so much from other people and I wouldn't want people to think oh if I eat that many calories I'm going to lose the same amount of weight or whatever um it's all to do with like your height your weight your age whether you're male or female um but I will link in the description box below the calculator that i use to work out my calories and you can do the same um it basically tells you what your maintenance calories are and then i kind of decided what i wanted my deficit to be so that's kind of how i've done it so to begin with i've just given myself like a 300 calorie deficit a day in comparison to what my body needs to just function <laughs> uh, next question is do you think you eat more food on calorie counting than ww and no <laughs> I wouldn't say it's more food um obviously there's a bigger range of food there's a lot more flexibility and variety that I can have within my calories so for example something that is actually only like 350 calories maybe like 10 points on WW then I would have to eat like zero point foods for the rest of the day pretty much to stay within my allowance on WW whereas 350 calories is still quite a low calorie meal um so yeah i wouldn't say more food but i'd say a lot more variety and a lot more flexible and sometimes a lot more convenient as well <laughs> have you tried the chicken big mac yet uh this is a great question and yes of course i have like <laughs> i was basically running to mcdonald's when i saw that that was released and you know what it was worth it it was so good uh ben didn't think too much of it actually but he really likes the normal big macs i'm not a big fan of a normal big mac so maybe that's why i really like the chicken one i don't know but yeah and actually it's only like 570 calories or something which i didn't think was that bad at all do you set goals to help you stay motivated absolutely i have like notes pages in my phones of goals that i want to achieve for a year i've got like um a really good like law of attraction planner which um, you write down your big goals and then you write down mini goals of what you need to do to achieve the big goal and I just find it really good to keep track in progress of those kind of things. It it just really helps me and they're not all like, I mean they're pretty much none of them are to do with losing weight. They're all about um, what I want to achieve in life that year um, and just making them like smart and achievable so for example I have got a credit card that I want to pay off this year and that has been something that I've been desperate to to do and it's something I really want to work hard on this year I'm not putting the goal as something that's really unrealistic though and like say for example having it all paid off by June because I know that's not going to happen um so I want to make it achievable so yeah I love setting goals and tracking my progress and then at the end of the year just reflecting <laughs> on what I have achieved and what I have um, still to work on. Sorry, I've literally just made a pot of noodles as like a lunch pit stop in this video. Um, just a cheapy box of noodles that I picked up from Cherries, but so good. So please don't mind me while I scoff some of these because your girl is starving. Okay, sorry about that. Next question is, <laughs> Will you be doing more hauls on your channel? Um, if that's what you guys want to see, then yeah, definitely. Although I found when I was doing some hauls before, again, kind of linking back to the last one where I'm really like trying to pay off credit cards and stuff. I found I was like buying things for the sake of doing a haul and I don't want to get into that habit again. So if I'm out shopping and I pick up some nice bits that I like, of course, I'm going to share that with you, but I'm not going to purposely do like a big ASOS shop that I don't need. 
simply to film a video because I am really pants at sending stuff back and then I end up having to pay for it all and yeah it's just not ideal so um yeah if there's anything in particular you want to see then obviously let me know what's your favorite crisp flavor this is difficult I'd probably actually go a bit rogue and say prawn cocktail I know it's not everyone's favorite but I'm a big fan um but I also like smoky bacon yeah really like smoky bacon but do you know what I ain't really that fussy when it comes to crisps I am pretty easy easy breezy and then the next and final question um you'll be pleased to know is a low calorie lunch idea so they're asking for a low calorie lunch idea and i'd actually say because i'm really trying to keep my protein up so i'm not just eating instant noodles by the way which these are like 350 calories apart which is a good amount of calories for lunch for me but it's not very nutritious is it so this was just a quick quick grab and go today um but i really like the warburton thin protein bagels that have got like the seeds on top really like those with some like ham cream cheese um maybe a bit of pesto in there some rocket um it's like a nice like sandwich and then um maybe have a soup as well like a really like a nice low calorie soup um, if you've got enough calories left for that, if you're hungry enough for that, or even just with like a nice low calorie bag of crisps and some like grapes or an apple or something like that. I find ham is actually like really good in terms of the amount of calories, but then also how much protein is in it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me with these noodles because that is all the questions and answers. I hope that um, has given you a bit of an update of where I'm at maybe while I was a little bit missing from YouTube um but if there's anything you want to see from me please let me know in the comments below um because I really do appreciate it and yeah thank you for joining me and watching me scoff some instant noodles down my cup of tea and answer your questions and also if there's anything else you want to know um or any questions you want to ask please feel free to leave them in the comments I'm more than happy to chat to you guys because you are the best. Oh, I nearly said the word awesome then, but I'm not American. I can't get away with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Apologies if I waffled on a little bit. Um, I tend to do that. But it feels so good to be back. Not what this bit of hair is. Yeah, it feels so good to be back and filming and chatting to you guys. Um, and yeah, long may it continue. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and hopefully I will see you in the not so distant future in my next video. Bye!